Hey, what's up you guys? It's Bjorn from Triassic Park Triops again and today we are going to take a look at the Triops Longicodatus gonocoric. Um, the Triops Longicodatus gonocoric features the male and the female body type which is something uncommon in the Triops keeping hobby because most Triops that are being sold around are hermaphrodite Triops um, those traps are basically male and female um, which makes them able to fertilize their own eggs so basically that's an easier triops to get um, the way hobby started if you are new to the traps keeping hobby I would recommend to get yourself some hermaphrodite traps first because uh, it's a great way of learning to keep traps get yourself some eggs and try over again because um, the thing with traps uh, that are gonna cork is you need females and males um, let's say that you have a fairly small amount of eggs and you actually want to um, hatch like let's say 10 traps um, if you got a gonococcus species and you get eight males and just two females that will not completely guarantee you that you get that you're gonna get some new eggs because traps can actually die pretty fast sometimes and if your females would die out first the problem is that you actually have no uh, fertile mm, females anymore <laughs> that can lay eggs for you um, thing is, um, well, I actually have quite a lot of experience with keeping traps right now, so I was really interested in the gonococcus species because they are completely different. And right now, what we are looking at is a gonococcus longicodatus male. And the thing is that they are, they actually do have a different shape. And when I got the gonococcus species the first time, I was like really surprised how the males look because they actually have a more flat head. A shield and uh, a definitely a longer tail so this is a really interesting species they definitely look way different from the uh, regularly sold longicodatus uh, hermaphrodite species um, thing is I'm really interested in the gonocorix so uh, I just wanted to take a look with you guys and uh, actually um, some interesting things have happened last week and uh, I wanted to discuss the things that happened last week a little bit and uh, just take a look at the trials in the meanwhile. Um, as you can see uh, the tank looks like trash right now uh, and that's because the trials actually have been really busy. Um, traps are actually really active little diggers, at least the females. The males actually don't dig, um, they just uh, swim around and try to uh, interact with the females. And the females actually have the behavior of uh, digging in your substrate. And because they dig around in your substrate, it's actually possible that they are going to alter your uh, escape. And sometimes this can be uh, fun and sometimes this can be trouble. Uh, if you got like rugs, uh, they can get unstable and uh, that's something you need, really need to take care about if you're going to decorate your tribe's keeping tank and um, that's definitely a good tip, remember this one. Because I actually had ones that the tribes were digging and they actually uh, made some kind of cave, some kind of a cave. Uh, in between a bunch of rocks and the problem was eventually uh, the rocks caved in and two traps died from that so I kind of felt bad because I was really interested in how they dug a cave and stuff um, right now these traps actually dug a cave as well but this is quite a more uh, safe type of cave I will show you guys um, this is the little cave that they dug, uh, but it's beneath a moss ball, so that's not gonna kill them if it caves in. This is not possible to cave in as well, because it's just one massive ball of algae, basically. Um, but as you can see, they actually dug a little tunnel beneath the moss ball. Like this. And they did it on this side as well. Just a little tunnel. And uh, for some reason they actually feel really comfortable in this little corner and uh, they have been laying some eggs around here as well. And over there you can see a little orange dot, that's one of the eggs that they deposited over here. Um, but like I said before, um, there are actually quite a lot of uh, egg pockets, that's like a, what I usually call them. Um, and we're going to take a look at the egg pockets as well. So, oh, we'll start on the left. And... Um, 
what we want to do is we were going to uh, try to spot red or orange dots. You probably see some dots right now already. And we are going to move to the right and try to spot some more of them. Um, excuse me, that's my arm. Moving over the desk, making fart, no, fart sounds. <laughs> So as you can see there are quite a lot of eggs around here and this is definitely a really interesting uh, egg pocket over here and this is basically why I use um, black and grey gravel because you can spot the eggs really easily. Uh, usually the trout's eggs will be colored orange or bright red, uh, submerged and immersed they will turn a little bit darker but that's normal, that's because they dry out then. Um, oh, excuse me guys, that was not supposed to happen, but I think it's time to go to bed, but instead I will just keep recording. Give me a second guys while I turn back on the lights again. <laughs> well, the tribes probably think are thinking right now like that was the shortest evening we ever had. Several seconds. Still. Um, I actually don't know what the subject was again, but I actually do see another phenomenon going on here. Um, the eggs actually start to hatch. These eggs didn't get a dry period, but it's possible that trout's eggs will still hatch. And we are going to look at the evidence right now. Um, over here you can see Nopoli. That's a Nopoli over there. Oh no. He's moving towards the filter. And there he goes. Oh, that's too bad. Um, oh, and another one over here. I actually think I should try to catch them with a pipette and uh, put them in a little hatchery, perhaps. Let's see how that turns out. Let's see if these guys are actually possible or capable of surviving. Um, I actually saw several Nopoli uh, moving around over here. There are s two more. That's unusual, but it's interesting. Um, after I shot the video, I'm going to try to catch some of them and uh, let's see if they actually will survive. I'm just going to collect some water from this tank and see if they are able to survive in the, um, well, let's say used tap water. Because they are actually hatching in tap water right now. Well, that's unusual. But it's interesting that it actually happens or happened before I started recording this video. Uh, I did see it before. That's definitely not, that's not something new for me. But it's fun that it's actually happening right now. I actually didn't expect it as well. But that means the water is pretty clear right now. That's good news though. Uh, thing is, I'm going to try to catch some of them uh, very soon when the video is done. Um, next thing, what I wanted to discuss, um, safety of plants. Um, the safety of plants is also something to consider. Uh, I always add some of these orange rings uh, to the roots of my plants just to make sure that the triops are not digging around the roots or actually uh, eating from the roots because basically otherwise this will happen. Let me show you guys. They just uprooted this volisneria in the corner over here. Um, over here in the corner and they basically ate almost all of the roots so that's also possible tribes can actually eat your roots as well um, that's possibly the uh, oh well I think that's like the last subject I had to discuss today um, I'm just gonna hurry up and try to catch some Nopoli and see if I can actually get them to survive in a little hatchery and add them to the colony and that's possibly uh, really something new because that means that the trials will actually see their children which is something really unusual because in nature they never get to see their children because they die out the eggs dry out and um, well next year their children hatch so that's uh, 
possibly something new um, but I also think this happens in nature though I think that sometimes the eggs will hatch in uh, bodies that already contain some adult trubs I think that's possible as well but I'm gonna catch them right now I hope you guys enjoyed the short little video and the little update on the trubs Longicadaus gonna I hope to see you guys next time have a nice one